This film is about sustainable buildings in an area of Scotland up near Inverness. This area is the Murray Firth. What makes a home sustainable? The word sustain means to keep something going. It's used in music. It comes from a Latin verb. In cities like London, we need to find ways to live so that the impact on the planet is low and future generations have the resources they will need. This includes sustainable ways of moving, of transport. People need to move to deliver supplies, to go to work, to visit friends and family, to go on holiday. Let's look at some examples of traditional buildings in the Scottish countryside in this kind of area. Traditional houses are made of local materials, stone for walls, slate for roofs, small openings with sash windows. Here's an example of a 1980s bungalow. Many bungalows were built with lower pitched roofs, larger windows and more modern building materials like roof tiles, concrete block work for walls and such. These houses were built as council houses. This more recent house has a more traditional pitch of roof but modern features. If a building is going to be sustainable it needs to deal with a number of issues. In this area, timber is an abundant local resource for building. This sawmill is located on the edge of Nairn. It takes local timber and prepares it for building products. Here is a company in Forres which makes solar panels. This type of solar collector provides hot water. Cool water is pumped through copper pipes in the collector and it's heated by radiation from the sun, producing hot water. North of Forres, there is a large bay, Fintorn Bay, and on its eastern side is an area of flatland next to an air base, RAF Kinloss. A community was started here in the 1960s. It has developed into a Nico village of about 300 residents on about 12 hectares. The original caravan. Some of the first houses were made from recycled whiskey barrels, like these. This was 80s building school. Um, Fintorn Foundation, staff accommodation. 80s, I won 80s, 90s. These houses are not permanent homes, they are experimental eco mobile homes. In building these, they tried to cut down as little of the woodland as possible. This shed was built using straw bales, which was very much an experiment at the time. You can see the straw bale through the window. This house is a modern version of a straw bale house. The little flue poking up shows you that they have a wood-burning stove. The roof is made of corrugated metal. Straw bale house. Now look at these buildings and see if you can work out what makes them sustainable.
then the heat goes up. There's new building work going on even now, yeah. and the Eco Village is building a new development. These new houses are going to be carbon neutral. Just like how many different kinds of buildings there are here, yeah. as much as anything. This building is the Community Arts Centre. On the south side, they have photovoltaic cells. Inside, they have a display to show how much energy is being generated. They also have a wind farm. Biomass boiler, which is a community district heating system. Down by the caravan park, they have something very unusual. From the outside, it just looks like a greenhouse. This building treats all the waste water from the village. The really good time to come is in the summer because then it's full of flowers. Waste water is fed into these large green container things. The treatment of waste water relies on natural processes found in nature. We keep it above five degrees to keep the bacteria active. So these are daphnia or water fleas and they're digesting the dead bacteria that are in the water of the clarifier. And once the water is clean enough to support these kind of beasties, the food chain kicks in. And we're now going to feed these to the fish at the end of the system. They're pink because we have a low oxygen supply in the water and they actually go clear if you pump in oxygen. This water is the clean water at the end of the treatment system. You can see the fish swimming in the pond. You're doing swimming to the office. In here or in the office? In here. Back in the village, this invention is meant to attract bees. There's another surprise in the shop. The village community uses its own currency. This is for Their money is called an eco. This is the community kitchen, which has a dining room next to it, so they can all eat together. So, we have seen some examples of sustainable buildings that are designed to make the most of natural resources, including heat and light from the sun and local materials like stone and timber. Thanks for watching.